What's up, guys? It's Will here, back again. And today we're here for another exciting morning Hot Toys announcement. Well, set of announcements, really, because we have a release from Hot Toys. The Hot Toys C-3PO from Return of the Jedi, the 40th anniversary, has been released early. And then, of course, we have the Spider-Man, the Supreme Suit, whatever it's called. We're going to talk about that as well. That's an announcement that Hot Toys has made. So, guys, before we get started, make sure to click that like button down below. Click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you're updated when content goes live on this channel. That said, let's start with the C-3PO release because that is exciting. Guys, I checked the sideshow website actually this morning once it released and i saw that it was set to release april to september of this year so it's definitely an early riser so to speak this is an early delivery an exciting valentine's day uh post valentine's day delivery happy valentine's day belated by the way for those who celebrated it uh so really this is a post valentine's day delivery by hot toys and c3po has arrived on our doorstep well he will soon that is so i think overall Look, this is not one that was probably going to differ too much from the prototype in the photos, right? This looks really good. Salacious Crumb looks good. C-3PO has that gold die cast look to him. And look, this is the figure that Hot Toys uh, Star Wars fans have been clamoring for for years now. This is the figure that we've all wanted for a really long time. Hot Toys has started to deliver some of these. C-3PO, Mace Windu, controversial head sculpt. I don't like it, but it is what it is, right? C-3PO overall, though, this is a figure that a lot of people have really wanted. Uh, this has been termed Dick Eye C-3PO, depending upon where you fall on that one. You know, I guess you, you'll either like it or, or not as far as whether you want to use this accessory. But for me, I would say that uh, this is not going to be something that I use at all. The, the C-3PO dick eye is not of interest to me personally. I'm going to uh, display my C-3PO in the regular fashion. I think that's going to be fine for me. Uh, I do have an R2-D2. I have the Force Awakens version. I, I didn't feel the need to upgrade to the other one. Uh, I think it was a New Hope or one of those other ones uh, when that actually released because I had the uh, Force Awakens version already. Uh, that, you know, that works fine for me. Uh, Salacious Crumb, I don't really have as much of a attachment to, so I probably won't even display him, to be honest. Uh, but when I do the review, it will be something for sure that I show you guys just to make sure that, um, you know, that uh, you get to see everything involved with the figure. But uh, it's funny, in certain photos, he looks a little more... Uh, like bronze colored, like a little more to the Attack of the Clones style. But in others, he looks uh, very shiny gold. So I guess it just depends on the lighting. Uh, but the paint apps look solid here. The wiring looks good. I know that was a point of contention for a little bit, saying it was, uh, for some anyway, saying it was potentially inaccurate. Uh, to me, it's hard to tell. I don't, you know, C-3PO to me is a very important character, and I'm going to get him because I think he's integral to a Star Wars display for most collectors. But uh, beyond that, I'm not as concerned necessarily about the wires. Uh, you know, as long as they look good to me and they seem to look good, then I'm happy, right? So, but I understand the accuracy complaints as well. You know, you want things to be as accurate as possible. Uh, with Salacious Crumb, yeah, it looks cool. You can put him on C-3PO's head. I think he looks pretty cool. So, yeah, I, you know, overall to me, I mean, that's a nice accessory to add. I mean, it's hard to add accessories with C-3PO. I mean, what are you really going to add? You know, he, he never really has that much that he uses, just himself talking and being kind of quirky and off, right? So I, I think that looks pretty cool. I really like the silver paint apps here, you know, on the leg here. You can see silver mixed in with looks like some bronze and some gold. I think that looks really cool. Again, this is Return of the Jedi look. So to most collectors, though, some will want the a new hope version whatever uh, maybe empire but to me it's like I, they all look very similar there might be mild differences small discrepancies between each one but a die cast c3po by hot toys is really what we all wanted at the end of the day so to me uh as long as it's that <laughs> that i think we're, most of us are pretty happy so yeah it's it's interesting most of these photos are just simply him standing there with r2 which is probably what you're gonna need to do you can see here the fingers clearly articulate so that's really nice the sideshow one did that actually uh, already so Nothing super crazy or uh, groundbreaking or super new there. But, uh, I mean, what really dynamic pose do you need to do with him? Maybe just put his arms out or put his arms above his head. That, that's really about the gist of it. Uh, I think the base, actually, I've always thought this this circular style base is pretty cool. Uh, Salacious Crumb, he does he does look very plasticky. I'm not going to lie, looking at this close up here. But, you know, look, he was a little doll in the, in the film, so you know, it, it's fine. So to me, uh, I think this looks fine. Again, I'm more concerned with the base here. Um, he has his little pillow. That's pretty cool. A little sculpted pillow. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess it's like kind of a two pack. It's kind of like a Mando, Mando and Grogu type of set. And that way, it's like just Crumb got his own photo here. Interesting. Very interesting. He's like flying around like Shang-Chi about to chop C-3PO. So pretty interesting. Um, yeah, this is the iconic uh, look right here. Just putting them side by side like that. I think this looks great. I'm interested to see how the light up function will work for this figure. With Sideshow, it was very easy. You just tap the forehead and you could turn it on and off. So I don't know how Hot Toys is going to do it. Uh, I'm hoping to pick up this figure pretty soon. So I'm probably going to pick him up and um, 
and uh, you know do a review pretty soon. So, uh, cause it's one I definitely want. So, but uh, yeah, that looks great. That looks really cool. That looks really, really cool. So I'm glad that uh, C3PO has got an early release like this. Again, it must not have been too difficult of a figure for Hot Toys to do. There's no head sculpt. There's no likeness. It's just a bunch of die casts and some wires. So I don't think this one was uh, too crazy for them. So they were like, yeah, let's just get that thing out there. We'll make it work. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, again, I really like this base. Uh, I'm a base guy. So I, I really think this is pretty cool. Uh, it raises him up a little bit, which can uh, prove to be problematic if you have him in the front level of your display. But um, yeah, I think that's fine. I really like the base overall. And uh, there's a lot of good photos here. Slash's Crumb sitting on his pillow again. It's just, uh, I love that they're teasing this. So they're teasing Chewbacca. This is just the A New Hope Chewbacca from prior, but maybe they go back and, and you know go ahead and remake those. That's the Leia from uh, Return of the Jedi, same with the Luke. So they're just taking old figures and putting them all together. Same here, this is all the A New Hope line. That's the old Han from A New Hope. So I wouldn't get too excited yet. Uh, you know, Maybe there's something that we see where they sort of remake these figures. That would be ideal for 2024, considering there's nothing coming out. Um, but yeah, so I, I'm, I'm going to be interested to see if they do that. I think a lot of people are going to get really excited if they do. Um, so yeah, that's uh, C-3PO guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts on him in the comments below. Let's transition to the announcement of the day. So we got a, uh, another suit from the Spider-Man 2, the Sony uh, PlayStation 5 game, uh, the superior suit. This one, I actually have no idea what this suit is. I played the whole game and I do not remember the suit, probably because I don't change suits that frequent. I'm not really much of a customizer when it comes to games. I normally go in and say, okay, I got the advanced suit. I got uh, the advanced suit 2.0. I got Miles' suit. Miles' suit at the end of the game was ass though. Let's be real. That game was not, that suit was not good. Um, but anyway, so guys looking at this suit, honestly, this is a really cool, this is a really cool fucking suit. This is a really cool suit. I mean, the 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 um the spider arms. This is not necessarily like you know iron it, iron spider claws. This is not necessarily my favorite thing to put on every Spider Man. On the advanced suit, I think it worked. But overall, I mean, I absolutely think this suit is pretty cool. And uh, I think this is I think this is pretty cool actually for the Spider Man collector who wants a lot of different Spider Man. If you don't care as much about your connection to the character, which I do personally, I really care about the character has to mean something to me. I, or otherwise, I'm not really going to want them. Um, sometimes a figure can just look cool. And there are a lot of collectors who go off of that uh, methodology and will buy a Spider-Man just because it looks really cool. And this one certainly looks really cool. So if that is your thing, then, and you love Spider-Man, then this one could certainly be a consideration for you because this is a really nice suit. This is a really nicely designed uh, suit. So, and I wanted to show something and my face may cover it up with the screen, but I'll just, I'll just read it to you guys. So I've plugged in the Hong Kong dollars to US dollars. So based on what secret base it told us. So 1,790 Hong Kong dollars in, in, in uh, over there uh, in at Hong Kong secret base. So hot to secret base. So uh, when we're looking at that and we're looking at the Spider-Man, what it's going to be on Sideshow, 280, 275, 290, something like something along those lines, right? So that's what you're looking at. Uh, pretty typical for Hot Toys figure nowadays. So nothing crazy, especially considering you have these plastic, uh, you know, iron spider arms. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I know this is a really cool pose, but I wouldn't dare leave my figure in that type of pose with the with the clamp around him. You're just asking for trouble. You're going to destroy the fabric if you do that. So please don't. But uh, you do you, if you feel that is a good idea. Maybe you could put some extra foam around it. I don't know, something, but don't put it naturally like that. It's gonna, it's gonna fuck your day up. So uh, this looks really cool. Guys, look at this suit, just in a natural pose without the spider arms. This is really cool. I mean, look at the texture on the suit. It looks very similar. It's very akin to Miles' suit to me. It looks like very similar fabric because I had that Miles 2.0 and it looks very similar. I love the sort of color contrast with the black and the red here. And of course the black eyes, I think it just makes it look kind of mysterious and just kind of off. And I like that. I really like this color scheme. This is a really nice Spider-Man suit. I wish I had more connection to this specific suit because, um, I, I may pick this up if that were the case, because I really like how this looks. I really think this is a damn cool Spider-Man suit. And again, he doesn't really need to come with that much. Give him his webs, his claws, and some hands, and that's probably it. It's probably why they were able to keep the price down to a, a fairly reasonable level. So, you know, make this thing, uh, you know, for the US, 280, 290, whatever. So, and overseas, uh, two, 228, not bad. Really pretty affordable at the end of the day. So. Uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this Spider-Man in the comment section below. Again, I think this one is pretty cool also. So I think we got a good, uh, you know, slate of news here today. We got a release of C-3PO and we got the Spider-Man. So C-3PO, very excited for that one. Very excited because that's one I always plan to pick up and uh, I have R2 and I feel like for my Star Wars display, I really wanted to get a C-3PO. So I'm going to get a C-3PO and he's going to be in my display. So 
uh very excited about that so guys let me know in the, th in the thoughts your thoughts down in the comments below sorry it's still early here in the morning <laughs> your thoughts down in the comments below about c3po about the spider-man do you plan to pick them up if so uh, where are you going to pick them up and um yeah let me know any other thoughts that you have we'll have a live stream tomorrow we'll discuss this at 5 15 kiko and i and um that'll be fun and there'll be some other videos on this channel so make sure to subscribe like and uh hit the notification bell i'm working on a pretty exciting video it's a big picture video so uh working on that so definitely let me know what else you want to see and guys thank you so much as always i appreciate you i will catch you in the next video peace out see you later bye 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 <laughs>